Being very closely together. The next few minutes, we're going to take time to worship our God. So feel free to walk out of your seats. We have the whole front available. The next couple of minutes, it's a very sacred moment before the presence of the Lord. How many of you believe that? So we're going to truly worship God with everything we have. With everything we have. We're going to lift the name of the Lord. So I'm, I'm going to ask all of you guys to just walk out of your seats this morning, especially the youth. Come out to the front. We're going to experience the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. The God we serve, He is such a good God. How many of you believe that this morning? See, it is so important in our lives to let our soul be reminded that God is good. That is that amazing revelation of God's love. The longer we live, the more of the life we experience, the pain and the struggles, the heartaches and disappointments, the more we realize how weak and how insecure and forgetful my spirit is, that is when we are reminded that you are good, that you are good. Child of God, into whatever state our soul is in, declare this morning that He is good, that He is good. From this place, as we worship Him, declare in one voice that He is good, He is good. Into any situation, into any situation this morning, we should be able to declare that our God, our God, He is good. We are reminded our very souls of this unchanging goodness of our Father, that He is good and His love endures forever. And if God has a good plan for us, and that He will never fail us, this does not mean that we won't have pain or disappointments. That does not mean that there won't be seasons where we don't understand how God could let us go through something. But that God is walking through your life. That God is walking each and every day by our side, carrying us through every season. As we stand in the presence of God and every eye is closed and heads bowed. I want to bring your attention to Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. It says, for I know the plans. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you, not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. How many of you believe that this morning? If you believe that, shout amen. Shout amen. Father, we thank you for your presence this morning. As we spend time in your presence to exalt your name, we want to glorify you with everything we have. We want to glorify you with everything we have. We know this morning that your love and mercy washes all our sins. And we thank you this morning for that love. We thank you this morning for that love. We honor your presence. Come on, children of God. Let's worship God.
Yeah.
God we serve is such a good God. The God we serve is such a good God. Can we give him a clap offering this morning? Can we give him a clap offering this morning? Shalom. so heavy in this place. I don't know if you sensed that this morning. But the Spirit of God wanted to remind the people standing in here this morning that regardless of what you have done in the past, your future has been redeemed because of our Christ's sacrifice on the cross. I don't know if you heard that this morning, but regardless of what you have done in the past, your future has been redeemed because of His love for us, because of His great sacrifice for us. So this morning, child of God, I want to remind you that resurrection power I want to remind you this morning of that resurrection power as we stand before his body, before his blood. That reminds us every day what really is true. The resurrection power is the power to cancel our past, our failures, our mistakes, our sins, our regrets. I don't know if you hear that this morning, but that resurrection power has that power to declare the old is gone and the new has come. That is what the resurrection power is about. That is so true in our lives, child of God, that inside of us, there is a resurrection power. That is that amazing love that he has called me out of the grave. He has called me out of that grave. He has called me out of all my shame. I see the old has passed away and the new has come. That is the power of the resurrection. That is the power of the resurrection. We thank you this morning for that freedom. We thank you this morning for that freedom. Oh. You call me from the grave by name. You call me out of all my shame. I see the old as past.
chains are gone. Freedom, you have given us freedom. You have given us freedom. Hallelujah. Freedom, you have given us freedom. You have given us freedom. My chains are gone. I have the 
resurrection power living inside of me. Every power, every power of darkness is being broken in the name of Jesus. Receive it this morning, child of God. Receive it this morning, child of God. He has given you that freedom. He has given you that freedom. No longer you are bound by sin and darkness. No longer you are bound by the sin and darkness. You are living in the light of the goodness. Shut up.